We now work through the brief numerical example that you're given in class here with the solo model. For those of you who are watching this that aren't in my class, what I gave my students was a per worker production function, y sub t is equal to 4 times k sub t raised to the 0 0.5, a depreciation rate of 15%, a population growth rate of 10%, and then a overall savings is equal to 0 0.25 times y t, but that really gives us what we want to look for, right, which is right here. So that gives us our savings rate, so a lowercase s equal to 0 0.25. Now the first step we want to do is we know that we are trying to solve, right, we have s times y t, right, we know that is going to equal n plus delta times k t, so we're saying that my overall savings is equal to in my investment. Now what we can do is I'm going to, I drew this out on purpose with the T. Now that we are in, we are in steady state, we can actually get rid of that. So what we have here is we have our steady state condition where we can solve for K. So what we have to do here then is we have to plug in everything. So my S is 0 0.25. My Y is going to be, this is going to be multiplied by 4K to the 0.5. N plus delta, we've got 0.15 plus 0.1 is going to be 0.25, and then we have our K left over. Uh, great thing here is we have uh, 0.25s on both sides of the equation. We can just cancel those out, so that helps us. And then we're going to divide both sides by K to the 0.5, divide this side by K to the 0.5. To cancel that out, I'm going to get 4 on the left-hand side of this equation is going to equal to K divided by k to the 0.5. Remember, we just have to subtract the exponents here, so that's going to be left with k to the 0 0.5. How do we get rid of something raised to 0 0.5? Well, we're going to have to square it, because when I uh, multiply uh, 2 times 0 0.5, we're going to get to 1, so that's going to go away, so we have to square this side. This tells us my k, which we can now add a star, is equal to 16. So we've solved for that k star equals to 16. Now we just have to plug that back into y, right? y star is going to equal 4 times k star raised to the 0.5. So that means that y is going to equal to 4 times k star, which is 16 to the 0.5, which is equal to, uh, which will let us know that y is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. So y star is equal to 16 as well. So we see y star is equal to 16. And we see that k star is equal to 16. Now we also wanted to know what my c star was equal to. Well, c star is going to be equal to just my overall production minus my savings. Right? So minus my savings. So what does that mean? Well, this is the total savings. So that means c star is going to be equal to y star, which is 16, minus my savings rate, which is 0 0.25, times my overall 16. So what is that going to be? C star is going to equal to 12. Now this should make sense, right? Because 25% of this production, right? 25% of this production, meaning four of it, is going to go towards capital. Why is that the case? Because 25% needs to go towards delta and N. So if 25% is going towards replacing the depreciated capital and the overall amount of new people, then 75% is left over for consumption. So that's how we get the 12. So numerically, this is how we solve everything. What if I want to graph this, right? What if I want to graph this? So let's take this and make this a little smaller, just so that way we still have this on the screen and we're comfortable with it. If I want to graph this in our normal solo model that we've been working with in this class, it's k versus, and then we have investment and the amount of investment that's needed to be in steady state. So I draw, right, my S, F of K, right? We also have a technology parameter in there. In our case, it's, uh, it's four, right? S, F of K. And then we draw this. This right here is my N plus delta times K. Where they cross... That's going to get my capital, right? My capital is going to be equal to 16. And what was my investment? Well, my investment was equal to 4. How do I know that? Well, that's simply just n plus delta times k. n plus delta was 0.25 or 25% of my 16, which is equal to 4. So that's what we would label at that point. 
So this is how we do a numerical example of the consumption function. Now, of course, you could practice this with a change, right? Let's see what happens if there's a change in my technology or if there's a change in the population growth rate, if there's a change in the savings rate. Always think of how things are going to shift. And if you're unsure of that, I'm going to make sure and post some practice for it.